Right, all right, guys. It's the Bike Rocker Boy here. <laughs> Where's my gloves? Here. Right now, I don't know how long last time. <laughs> I don't know the last time when I put, when I put some air in my tyres. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, that's probably going to be ready for the new front tyres soon. There's a wear mark somewhere, and it's got like some like that much left. But that's brand new. That's nearly new anyway. So that was put on about 2,000 kilometres a while ago. So that should be fine. But again, they both need some air tyres. Um, they've certainly not been done since we my dad left. Went out on the Kawasaki. So it'll be probably be last summer. So it'll be July June 2012. Yeah, so I haven't checked the tire pressures on this for a good nine months. Alright, we'll go to petrol station because I need some petrol anyway. So, you can either do your tire pressures at home, um, using one of those Halfords tire pressure gauge thingies, or you can do it yourself. Um, and you can use, basically battery you start it, these battery jumper things you can get mouth of my health is and etc they usually also have these type they can they have tire pre compressors in them so you can pump up your tires from at home this is a useful tool we've got one ourselves but uh it's only good for like when you are quite when your tires are really flat. So, why do we need to uh, keep our tyre pressures up? There's actually a lot of reasons why, because you see your tyres are all part of... Your tyres are probably the most important thing. Right? Um, because of course, it's what keeps you on the road. So, your tyres are the ones that need maintaining the most. So, even if you don't do anything with the engine, or the suspension, or the chassis, or the gearbox, or whatever, right? One thing you should be do keep an eye on is your tyres, because at the end of the day, you're only on that much worth of tyre. You know, you've got two spots of that connecting you to the road. So, your tyres act as part of your suspension as well. So keeping your tire pressures up is um, a good routine to get into if you are doing it. Um, the only problem is, depending where you go, it costs different mon different amounts of money. I mean, the minimum for Tesco is usually 20p, but the minimum for Shell is 50p. And unfortunately, we've only got Shell petrol station here. I think I'm, I'm going onwards anyway, so it's not like I'm not in the wrong lane. Is it? <laughs> Alright, so keeping your tire pressures up is important. <laughs> There's a lot of things. If your tire pressures are down, are too down, are too low, your area comes almost like a track. So when it comes to braking and accelerating, gets uh, they both get worse. So your braking comes, takes longer. Um, and you're more prone to actually locking up, you're prone to skidding as well at that point. And the acceleration, can be, um, takes longer. And therefore, you use more fuel, you're using more fuel to get off the line, and to actually keep on going as well. Your top speeds then also affect it as well. Your tire pressures are ridiculously sensitive. If you overinflate them. Right, if you're slightly overinflated move the the norm, then that's sort of fine. You're not you're not going you're not going to do any see any more difference. Uh, it's not like you're going to do any more damage. If you over massively overinflate them, then you are uh, you prone to actually, and this is what causes quite a lot of blowouts. Um, the car tires, you 
over inflating them and then driving at high speeds will then um, probably likely to actually make them blow out. The higher the speed you go, the more, the actual less pressure you need in your tyres to stop them, the tyres exploding. Best, mm, the best guide for tyre pressures is sim um, simply, when you're riding solo like this, you'll find that the tyre pressures have to be equal down thereabouts. So on this, it's 25 psi in both the front and the back. If you're planning to carry, if you're preloading the back suspension, you actually need to upgrade your tyre pressures and um, put more pressure in them. I'll just fill it fuel up and then we'll go over there. And we're just... Alright, let's go put... The, uh... Air pressure in. Wow! I ain't bothered put it, like tightening up me. Actually, I should do actually. I need to tighten up me. I need to clip up my thing. Usually I don't do it because uh, obviously come over and uh, right. So <laughs> right, the fuck's sake, one's there. I wonder if we can get these uh, one. I'll do it over here so you do this and you're another plate. Fuck you all! It's <laughs> 50p here. What's a rip off? You just give me 50p change. Uh, with me change, so. Uh, yeah. Give me two. Right. 50p. And now let's put a slightly over from what they recommend. Should we put should we put one or two over there with recommended? Because honestly You always go over it. You always goes down, don't it? So you might as well make it last longer. Seventeen! <laughs> This is supposed to have 25 in. <laughs> and I put 30 in the back because uh, I always carry pill in passengers. Put 31 in. Screw it. I got it. Fucking hell, there's nothing in these. That's leaking somewhere. Oh, yeah. You pissing bastard thing. Dumb. <laughs> 
So you pay five minutes and move into. Oh fuck's sake, I scrape my sliders now, even though I don't use them. Eh. As someone once mentioned on the Harlem video, David, <laughs> the sliders are very clean and unused. Ah. Right, let's have a test now. Wow! I'll tell you what, it's funny how uh, putting some air in your tyres makes all the difference. Jesus Christ! It's responding much better already. And by the way, that that's five. Basically, you have five minutes to put air in your tyres, and it goes off after that. So that bike is probably going to nick the rest of my two minutes. So, you know, but he can have it. I don't care, he's a biker. So he should. But 50p for five minutes. The Tesco shows 20p for five minutes. It's just there. <laughs> also in the compressor, of course. Um. God, it's so much better now. Hey, corner's a lot better now. I need to do my fuel economy. Oh well. I don't have time then. I'll get to where I'm going and I'll reset it. So even there'll be point something mile kilometers out. Yeah well. And as you saw there, like the biker was doing it there. And just to make your bike run a lot better, just putting tight, just putting air in your tires makes it a little bit more respondent like that. <laughs> your corners and handles so much better just by having the correct tire pressure in. That's all nice. Yeah, you kind of gather that my I really like tall girls who are like size 12. Maybe I'm compensating for myself because I'm so short. <laughs> that was annoying then I, the, the, when the Aprilia and um, what looks like KTM came in. Actually, not really. Like, I don't know what it was actually. Or Suzuki or whatever it was. That crosser. And I sort of looked at, oh, when I was just paying for petrol then, it was like. They look so nice, and mine looks like a bag of crap. <laughs> this stupid big top box on the back. Besides, so this needs a wash, and I won't wash it, will I? Ever. Take care. No. Right, so I'll see you later, guys. For now, when I come back out, I'll continue this.